Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I've come to see the much awaited Morskrim estate and I had this in my old playthrough and loved it. So I'm absolutely dying, I'm agog, to see what's been done. You can see the blue roof from here, look at it, it's amazing. So this is an all new version. it out. Oof. Touch the outside of the estate. Okay. If you're reading this, please stay away, especially after midnight. It's haunted and I don't want anyone getting hurt on my property. Oof. Turn after midnight. Okay. those illusions. Impressive. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and a warm bed. Hi. That's me? Why? <laughs> no, and before you ask, it's not for sale. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Here, take this. Find a way to vanquish the ghost. Okay, doesn't he sound exactly like one of the I... actual Skyrim actors? Assuming it is. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> oh, the house looks so pretty in the early morning light. And in my last version of this property, this was uh, a shop. Not anymore. I sense a presence. Oh my god. Switch the lights on, it's spooky in here. Nope. Hey. Oh my god, we're not getting out. <laughs> when it's making this really weird noise in the background. Okay, this is quite spooky. Oof. That's quite the noise. Neat. <laughs> Stay close, Inigo. Oh, there are loads of lovely lights to click on.
Okay, what am I looking for? Find a way to vanquish the ghost. Satchel. One out of four possessions found. Okay. Just... That starts playing. I'm going to freak out. Cannot be used yet. Okay. And Bunny sensibly staying by the door. I'm not sure where I need to be going to. not been everywhere? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh. <laughs> A story in the dark. Oh, stop it. <laughs> required okay journal holy hell that's an enormous journal okay I might pause the video to go away and read that oh my goodness <laughs> that's a that's a full-on story Oh, and what? I can't get out? Old miners' clothes. Why can't I get out? What's happening? Ooh, cycle banner styles. Okay, I'll have forgotten that by the time it actually becomes pertinent. You wait and see. Okay, I can't get out. Why can't I get out? The flickering light, by the way, isn't this mod, it's my travel lantern. There's nothing else to do in here. But I have not picked up the book. Oh! Oh, that was weird. Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> here. Ooh, hey. What empty sack? Empty chest. Cabbages. <laughs> Ragged robes. Garlic. Okay, so I need three more personal possessions. Potatoes. Nope. All right then. Hey, that's so weird. Right, where's that ghost gone? Come and speak to me, dude. Let me put you at peace. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, oh. Stop messing about. Mm, basement key. Okay. God. I can't remember where it is. <laughs> I am standing in the home of a hero. <laughs> Not yet, dude. Oh, here we go. Death comes for you now. Jesus. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, it's pitch black in here. 
so much better. Okay, there's got to be some personal possessions in here somewhere. You'd think. Oh my god, that's quite terrifying, just poking up out of a box like that. <laughs> that was a, <laughs> a cabbage, of course it is. I was expecting ashes or something. Find a way to vanquish the ghost. Completed. Uh, find and burn his possessions. Prepare and carry out the ritual of passing. Locate and salt the bones of the ghost. Can I get out of the house? And I've only found one possession. Guess I'm not doing that. Man, somebody needs to get busy with the dusting in this place. Guess that'll be me then. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay, now we're back. Oh. Oh, here. Okay, I've got markers everywhere, so... One of them's outside. Mm, okay, so some things about this mod haven't changed, have they? This will be the sauna. Excuse me, dude. And the outdoor tub. Okay, so I can go back in again. Oh, right, okay. Oh, we found the grave, I guess. Oh my god, I'm loving all the lanterns. Shovel required, of course it is. <laughs> Don't tend to carry one around with me. Salt, burn bones. No. <laughs> All right, then. Can I like these? Uh huh. Oh, nice. So this also remains the same. Nice. <laughs> Excuse me, my friend. Let me give you some room. <laughs> All right, so back to the pub. Good 
tell what's his name. We vanquished the ghost. Ironbreaker mine is three times the worth of that quick. My miners are as dumb as rocks this are gray. This is a local favorite, and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh no! Hi. Hi. Oh, How did you do that? Ragnar the Red, who came riding to Whiterun from Old War. By the gods, I don't know I what to do. I don't even know what to say. This town is still a nightmare if you ask me. How much? You've got a deal. Bargain. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our meat. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. All right, so we have the deed. And so then came clashing and slashing of still as the brave last Matilda charged. God. Oh, don't you turn Releasing a captured dragon. I don't think I'll ever understand that one. <laughs> All right, so the house is ours. Okay, so God, there's going to be a. Oh my goodness, I remember this from last time. It took forever. Okay, so I just popped my head in here, and there's some really beautiful music. But I'm not sure if it's copyrighted or not, so on the basis that it may, might be, uh, I've turned the sound, you know, the music sound off. Okay, so I'm guessing fire salt's needed. Oh, here we go. Clean the house, nice. Okay, let's do that. Two hours, yep. Okay, now comes the hard part. Okay, so I need to start crafting. I'm not actually at um at a hundred for smithing yet, so this will do me good. Okay, right, well I'll make a start and then I will be back in a bit. Okay, so we are done with what can be made here. Uh I could change my flooring if I wanted to brushed wood. <laughs> Requires a pickaxe. <laughs> Um, and you can see there's this handy little chest under there. I've just chucked everything in there that I'm not using at the moment. And fire salts to get that forge going. And boy, did I need it. And look at my workroom now. This is very cool. Inigo's just wandering about doing his Inigo thing. Got a couple of weapon racks I can use. Firewood storage. That is handy. And it's a really gorgeous workroom, isn't it? Love all the tools hanging up. So I'll show you the rest of the home. I wonder if I can get those going. I've obviously still got work to do. It's actually still a little dark, so just for the purposes of the video, I'll put my travel lantern back on again. And you'll know now where the flicker's coming from. So this is neat, look at that. I can put 12 books on my shelves and just choose which one I want to put the books on. That is awesome. I love those glass cabinets. This is quite the spiffy entrance hall now. Okay, now then. Items crafted at the desk must be placed inside the mailbox for their actions to take effect. Create a mail request to start receiving mail on a regular basis and create a mail sack to send items to your mailing chest crafted at the forge. Mail request. Mail sack. Item placed in this mail sack can be delivered to your mailing chest. Place the mail sack inside the mail box for delivery. Okay. Uh, I did make a mailbox actually. But it's in my inventory. <laughs> uh, book subscription. Nope, I'm not falling for that one again. 
charitable donation, sure. Do you know, I seem to recall that the last time this desk was used for hiring workers. Oh, nice. So much brighter. Oh, look at the gorgeous map. I think I've got any firewood on me. <laughs> Hello, Larry. Standing there with your arms folded, staring at me, you weirdo. So this is nice, isn't it? I don't think I've got anything I can... Oh, I have. A mud crab. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> I'm not keen on dead animal heads, so that'll do. And I can have a trophy here. Need to tap root. Aha, uh -huh. so I can change my tune on my organ. That's nice. Now I know that I've still got... Ooh, old chest. Just the fact that it's an old chest makes it far more exciting than <laughs> just a normal chest, don't you think? Still haven't found any of these possessions. Apart from the miner's thingy, miner's satchel. Alright, the rest. Ooh, this is neat. Get that. Love, love, love. Love the basket of flowers. Ooh, change tapestry. What tapestry? Ah, would you look at that? I've got one over here that's not showing up. Perhaps it was in the room behind. Nope. Okay, that's a little random. Okay, so I need to do some work because my bath is still broken. Bath broken, so somehow I need to fix that. Look at this. Soap. Oh, this is so much nicer, don't you think? Look at this. This is the kids' room. It's adorable. Love the combination of the rug and the kind of carpety stuff. Very nice. I love the little flower basket up there. And then a little display room. More bookcases. So as you can see, I've been pretty busy. It took me quite some time, I must admit. With the gathering of all of the materials and so on. Oh, the bedroom. This is gorgeous. I love this bedroom so much. You can have another trophy in the corner. And check this out. Open the cupboard door. And on my bed, in that cupboard, I found a blanket. I can put that back away again in the cupboard magic and the pillows aha uh -huh. that is very cool and with the fire going it is really cozy in here and beautifully lit too terrific wardrobe And, like I say, I know there's more work for me to do, but I just thought I'd show you what I've found so far. What I've built so far. I wonder if this attic will always remain like this. Still got cobwebs. Hey, bunny! <laughs> okay. 
so nice. Let's go and have a look. Kitchen, because this... Ooh, Mama, I like it. All this decoration is just awesome. Gorgeous sink, look at that. No running water at the moment. Oven, for which I need charcoal. Charcoal? <laughs> Here, Inigo, in the forge. Okay, okay then. Same deal. Bed, seating, storage, shelves, weapon racks. And of course, as soon as you start making these things, new things appear. Okay, well, it looks much better, doesn't it, with all the cobwebs gone? Actually, let's just have a look outside because I remember with this home there was a whole bunch of work to do outside also. There was a dock to build. Clearing all the trees away. Fixing the hot tub, etc, etc. It was down here. Hmm, maybe I have to finish inside first? Oh, dragon. Hmm. Dragon. Oh, it's here now. Oh, I can't while well in combat. Okay, well, I'm going to sort that dragon out. And then, oh, that. Will I be able to get up there, I wonder? <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. All right, we are done with the basement. I'll give you a quick look see. Nothing left to build here, so I'm guessing it's outside next. Look how neat and tidy it is. I love all these lanterns and chandeliers that you can light up. This is interesting. I need coal. Where do I get coal from? As it happens, I can go and get some from one of Memphis properties. <laughs> Uh, my school uh, treehouse that she made. Oh, by the way, there's a hammer here, grandfather's hammer, that you can fix these pipes and uh, it will give you running water upstairs in your bathroom. And I have these two lovely bedrooms and you can change the rugs here too. Nice. And no change here so far. The hatch is still shut, so I'm guessing that that's going to be an outdoor thing, isn't it? And I'd just like to say thanks, guys. So many people told me that this mod was now released, uh, and I'm really grateful to you all for that. I, I have been keeping my own eye on it, obviously, but uh, I really appreciate it. I just love it when you guys give me all your suggestions and recommendations. And now I've got my oven going. Looking nice and warm and cosy in that corner. Alright, let's have a look outside. So now I'm not in combat any longer. Got rid of the dragon. Glad to see his bones have gone. 
Oh, I've got some floating, <laughs> some floating um, straw. They weren't there before. They were actually on the floor before, where they're supposed to be. I wonder if the dragon messed it up because he did die right here in this courtyard. Okay, so banners, rear gate, sauna, docks, and stables. Okay, I'll get busy. Okay, so I'm done with the outside also now. I have my ship, my traveling ship, and my little jetty. And this boat, you can use it to go fishing. Time passes, you get the nice fishing sound uh, and then you get some fish at the end of it you can go out to sea I haven't tried that yet oh my god oh look we are some distance away from the shore that's what those wooden things are do you know I often wondered if they're supposed to be boys and I wasn't sure <laughs> if they were or not but now I see it so how cool is that Oh, okay. Uh, and we can also go Solitude or Windhelm. And check this out now. Look at my wall, it's so smart. I love my banners. And my gates. How neat is that? Plus, it also has a door bar. Nobody's coming in. Sit out and have a glass of wine. And look at this. I love these lanterns. You'll find these all around the outside of the house as well, actually. That you can hang up. And just, you know, light. They are terrific. Mm. <laughs> Look at my sauna now. Oh my god. The house looks so Christmassy. I love those two trees positioned right there. So this was a lot simpler this time, I thought. There was no clearing away um, the trees down there, which there was in the previous version. Look at my sauna, it's gorgeous. And my stables. I am so happy with my house. <laughs> so this is gorgeous and um, you need charcoal to light this. It also lights the hot tub outside. And I'll just show you this because it just made me die. It's so funny. If you get in here, sit in the hot tub this happens but the groovy thing <laughs> you feel confident when you get out <laughs> oh my god so yeah that's that's fun ah <laughs> I would never do that in real life, obviously. What do I mean about the lanterns? They are great. Now then, this mailbox. Items crafted at your study desk can be placed in the mailbox for delivery. Create a mail request at the desk to start receiving mail on a regular basis. Okay. So, what did I have? Did I make anything mail-wise? I can't remember. That long ago mail sack and um your items will be delivered to your mailing chest shortly and there's my mailing chest okay okay Let's see what i get oh well that i wasn't expecting oh i see so i can just pick this up okay say press control didn't it am I just being completely 
<laughs> ridiculous about it. I think I am. Oh my god, I love that mailbox. Also looks a bit different than the last time I saw it, I'm sure. Okay, so back indoors and fully dressed again. Because, you know, it's only polite not to hang around in your bathrobe for hours. I noticed here at the study desk, as soon as I'm Thane, I can recruit guards. Uh, obviously I'm not at the moment, so I've got work to do. How cosy this looks with the fire going and the spriggan in the corner, and if I don't like her, I can get rid. Obviously I mentioned changing the tunes on your organ. And you can change all these rugs. How do you know if a dragon has been in your garden? Your livestock are dead and your home is gone. It's not a joke. Dragons are no laughing matter. I have been listening to that for months now and I st it still makes me laugh. So, I haven't shown you this room yet. You can make scrolls at the scroll station. Adept apprentice, expert and novice. How cool is that? And I seem to remember, I may be misremembering, I thought there might have been soils on that wall in the last um, version of this house, but I could be wrong. This is a gorgeous room, though. The Enchanter and the Alchemy Lab are really handsome. All of the deco is gorgeous, right up my street. And there's a Staff Enchanter. Storage all over the place. And this little nifty feature. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Oh. Okay, so the travel maps. I can always see where my boat is. My boat is at home. And I can get rid of these maps. I love the maps, so I'm totally leaving them there. But, you know, options. Love this room. And look how nice this is. It's so beautifully lit. I don't know whether I'm supposed to be able to fire up those braziers or not. I haven't found a way to do it. So maybe not. This is how mannequins should be. Hidden away behind a wall of glass where they can't get up to any mischief. Come and loom over you in the middle of the night. And I love this little library. This is so cute round here. So you can change your colour scheme. Really personalise the whole place. By the way, did Dawnstar always have a lighthouse? I don't remember there being one here before. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So, what do you think? It's pretty aces, isn't it? The whole place. And I'm sure there are going to be bits that I haven't yet discovered. Like, I remember for sure that the last one had a vampire area. Whether this one does, I don't know. I will keep playing with it. This is just my sort of playthrough and first impressions video. So uh, forgive me uh, if I've missed things. And let me know about them, obviously. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be a coffin in here somewhere. I will keep looking. But in the meantime, I just want to show you the view because it's stunning up here. Who doesn't want to wake up in the morning and see that? Dawnstar has never been one of my favourite places, but this is just spectacular. The right house in the right location. And it's gorgeous. And when I sign off in a minute, what I will do is I'll show you what it looks like at night, because it's absolutely magical. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> if you lock this uh, gate behind you with the bar, um, and then you travel about on your ship outside, obviously you won't be able to get back inside again, you'll have to fast travel to your back door. As I found out. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you with that view and I'll quickly show you the night view. Call that the end of this wee video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you soon for the next one.